Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday. I have no plans, really bored. So I wanted to do a video on how I painted this jean jacket here. I just got an image online. Um, I wanted to do Pulp Fiction because that's one of my favorite movies. And it says, I said, God dang it. And this is the scene where she's, she was trying to sniff some cocaine, but actually sniff some heroin. Pretty iconic scene there. Um, so I picked up a plain denim jacket. Um, you could definitely get this at a thrift store, but um, I just checked out my local rainbows in the neighborhood. It was 20 bucks and I got this. And it's a pretty nice jacket. For this jacket, I wanted to do Minnie Mouse. I'm pretty inspired by my recent trip that I took to um, Disney World to go with my family. We all took a road trip and it was like, it was the best time ever. Logan. So these are the brushes that I have for today's jacket. Um, I'm gonna use this big guy right here for the base and the smaller guys for like um, details. Look a little rough, but they're well used. I'm gonna use this guy for the base. Leather Studio, I feel like this works really good for um, the jean jacket. I used this one before for the Pulp Fiction jacket. And then just some other colors here. Um, metallic black, I have pink, yellow, red. And I think uh, like a baby pink. And if you don't have the colors that you need, I mean, you have to like go back to your art class days and just play with the colors and, you know, make it work. So I want to add some of these guys to the jackets um, to make it extra special and extra girly and extra cute. So I can't wait to um, put these on the jacket as well. So this is what the first coat looks like. We're gonna give it some time to let it dry and then we'll be back for the second coat. Okay, so we're gonna do the same exact thing as we did before, just paint it white. Okay, so you can see with the second coat already, the color payoff is a lot better. Okay, so now we're to the point where the second coat is all dried up. Um, I have it hanging from a thumbtack and a hanger. My projector right here, attached to the HDMI. I have this image that I found on Google. You kind of want to play with the projector a little bit to get the perfect sizing for the jacket. So I feel like this right here, it looks good to me. Um, I'm gonna focus it just a little bit and I might actually just add two more thumb tacks so that way it doesn't move too much when I'm doing the outline. Okay and make sure she's lined up, she's good to go, she looks good on the jacket so now I'm gonna grab um, The lines are really thin on this one, so I'm going to grab maybe a fine sharpie to do the lines. The ultra fine point right here. Then I'm gonna use the outline. Say a prayer and God bless. Okay, so this is the final setup that I have here. I have my jacket, I 
have some weights holding the jacket down. I'm sorry for this awkward position, but um, I have my phone as a reference for the picture, the colors, where the lines go, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna start off with the color red. Mogan is like all about Minnie Mouse right now. No! Okay, so here's what many Mouse is looking like right now. Um, I have these Swarovski gems. Um, I'm kind of playing around with it right now to see what pattern I would like to be on the jacket. I was kind of thinking of just like maybe just outlining Minnie Mouse with just gems all around or just doing it kind of sporadically throughout the jacket throughout the white portion of the jacket something like that so yeah let me play with it a little bit more and then I'll check back in <clears throat> okay so this is day two now for um, the Minnie Mouse jacket I'm gonna show you the final product she's so cute so Get ready. Look how adorable this is. It definitely took a lot of time, a lot of effort. Um, day one, my hands were definitely cramping. Um, just trying to be super precise. And yeah. And then adding these crystals. So for these guys, I was able to iron them on. I had a few iron on um, crystals, but the rest were, were uh, glue. You have to add glue to them. Um, so they're all different shapes and sizes, if you can see here. Some of them throw off a different color. It's like uh, maybe hues of purple, blue, pink. It just depends on how the light is hitting it. This one's more on the pink side. Um, but they all go really well together. 
I just love this jacket so much. Let me try it on so you guys can see. Like, isn't it the most cutest thing ever? It's hard to record myself on. <laughs> I'm just so happy and um, proud of this guy. Um, it took me about about 15, 16 hours to make. Um, a lot of attention to detail to this guy, just to make it really cute and pretty, glamorous. All right, guys, it was a pleasure doing this video. I had a lot of fun. Um, definitely was able to meditate through this um, with the patience of painting. Um, I had a lot of fun. So if you guys have any ideas of what you'd like to see next, please let me know. And thank you to the recent subscribers I've received in the last couple of days. Until next time, bye.